letter of John reminds us of these truths. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So let's take a moment to prepare ourselves to confess our sins. And now let's pray aloud together. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all persons, I acknowledge the sin and wickedness I have committed, thoughts, words, and deeds grievous to your divine majesty. I sincerely repent. I am sorry in my heart for my wrongs. Remembering them grieves me. I cannot bear this weight alone. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, forgive all that is past. Help us to serve you. May we bring honor and glory to your name by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As far as the East is from the West, so far does God remove our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he remembers how we were made. He remembers that we are dust. In those days, John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness of Judea, proclaiming, Repent, Repent for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom of heaven, heaven has come near. 
This is the one of whom the prophet Isaiah spoke when he said, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Now John wore clothing of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. For food, he ate locusts and wild honey. And the people of Jerusalem and all Judea were going out to him and all the region along the Jordan. And they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. When John saw that many Pharisees and Sadducees were coming to be baptized, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee the wrath to come? Bear fruit worthy of repentance. Do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones. The axe is lying at the root of the tree. Each tree that does not therefore bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor. He will gather his wheat into the granary. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. And do you come to me? And Jesus said to him, Let it be so now, for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus was baptized, just as he came up out of the water, suddenly, The heavens were open to him, and he saw the Spirit of the Lord descending like a dove and alighting on him, and a voice from heaven saying, This is is my my Son, son, the Beloved, beloved, with with whom whom I am am well well pleased. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Afterwards, he was famished. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. And he answered him, It is written, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you. And on their hands they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again he took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of this world and their splendor and said to him, all these things I will give to you if you will fall down 
and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan. For it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left him. And suddenly, angels came and waited on him. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and made a home for himself in Capernaum by the sea in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali. That what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled, land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, on the road by the sea, across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. For those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. began to proclaim, repent, repent, for the, the kingdom, kingdom of heaven has, has come near. Be still, slow down, breathe in, breathe
have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms, I have blessed peace with my Lord so near. Leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all alarms, leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting Sweet to walk in this pilgrim way, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day, leaning on the everlasting arms. Secure from all alarms, leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. Friends, I invite you to turn your screen to gallery view so that you can see everyone gathered in the congregation today. And now I want to give you a blessing, so I invite you to hold your hands up like this. Brothers and sisters of Western, I thank God for you. You are a treasure. I pray that under the watch care of the Holy Spirit, you will be strong and gentle, generous and wise, becoming all that God intends you to be. I bless you in the name of Jesus, who is God's blessing to the whole world. Shalom. And now please remain for community time.